Today we begin a new focus around technology. This month we'll be talking about the digital world, smartphones, how to navigate and parent in this digital world, and how to rest from digital media. There's no denying that we now live in a digital world as opposed to the analog world that we as parents grew up in. I remember when the smartphone came out. I remember flip phones. I remember having a corded home phone. I remember dial-up internet and all those things. But those are relics of a world now gone. We now live in the digital age where our kids have never, never known a world without a smartphone, a world without on-demand wireless internet wherever they go, a world without constant connectivity. One of the main differences between the analog and the digital world is the social element of the digital world. Kara Powell and Brad Griffin wrote in their book, Navigating Our Digital World, they said, digital media was created and designed to facilitate better, faster collaboration and interaction. So naturally, the ways we use digital media are inherently more social and interactive than types of analog media that preceded it. We've often come to this conversation attempting to navigate this new world of screens and technology and other forms of digital media, talking a lot about screen time. But Powell and Griffin seek to reframe the conversation to instead talk about screen investment. They write, screen time is a bit too oversimplified to describe how young people use digital technology. A majority of kids today use digital media in far more interactive and meaningful ways than we may realize. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Fridays Are For Families, where we seek to empower and equip you to grow as a disciple and disciple maker of Jesus Christ. This month as we talk about technology, we want to draw your attention to one piece of digital media that we at Pathway believe in so much, we want to provide it to you for free. It's called Right Now Media. This resource is like Netflix, but for intentional discipleship. There are over 20,000 Bible study videos you can access. There are kids shows, content for adults, teenagers, kids, and everyone in between. You can access Right Now Media on their website or an app on any smart device. You can stream night and day, whatever you might be curious to learn about or study together as a family or an individual. If you haven't accessed your Right Now Media account yet, send us an email at family at lifeatpathway.com and we'll get you connected. Now, let's get back to our Fridays or for Families video as we talk about technology. How do we navigate this digital world? You as a parent come to this digital world as a digital immigrant. Your kids are growing up as digital natives. Navigating this world is a challenge to be certain. So as we think critically about navigating this new frontier as digital immigrants, we have to take into account that our kids are trying to make sense of the only world they know. You likely remember when you used to spend hours and hours outside playing in the same physical space as your friends. Your kids probably don't. You likely remember the, the times that you had to tune in live for the next episode of your favorite show or else you missed it. <laughs> your kids don't. You grew up in a different world than your kids are growing up in now. As much as we like to say, we were kids once too, you know? The world we grew up in was much different than the one they're growing up in today. They often use digital media to check in and, and keep up with their friends and what's going on in their friend group and, and social lives, not just to zone out and, and waste time at home or stay distracted. Just because they're growing up in a digital world and, and we are maybe reframing this conversation of screen time to talk about screen investment, it doesn't mean that we don't still need boundaries. The American Association of Pediatrics and your parental intuition recommend screen-free zones in the home and screen-free times in the schedule. Another digital media navigation point is to remember that the technical legal minimum age requirement for social media accounts, whether it's Google or Snapchat or Instagram or Facebook and, and many other social networks, that age is 13. This gives you as the legal guardian and the spiritual director in your home the legal authority to lean on the age of 13 before you need to come up with a better reason why they can't have a social media account. Another strategy to navigate this digital world is to talk to other families with kids of similar ages as yours, maybe talking through some common points and standards that you could collectively agree upon. That way your kid isn't the only one 
with that particular boundary, but maybe they have other friends who have the same boundaries. Lastly, we want to enter into this navigation and digital media conversation with our kids with a good deal of grace and empathy. Their world is social and digital. Remember how important those social relationships were in your own journey, though yours was in an analog world. Thanks for joining us on today's Fridays Are For Families episode. We look forward to continuing the conversation next week as we spend the next several weeks talking specifically about technology. 